How to make a DIY cable for an ICOM radio to use a headset with an electret condenser type mic. An easy way to understand how to make an adapter cable, if you have not ever made one before, could be to take one apart and look inside. If you can't do that, then this video could help. Don't forget to read the radio's manual. The pinout is shown there. First thing is that you need to know that the mic provided with your radio is probably of the electric condenser microphone type. These need to be provided with so-called phantom power or MIC input DC bias. Your radio could be providing such power by default. You will need the following. A jack connector, 3.5mm stereo with bend protection possibly, and or a jack connector 6.3mm stereo with bend protection possibly. You will also need a microphone coupler for radio devices with 8 pins, some cable, for example RG174 flexible coax cable, 20 centimeters of it for example, and shrink tubing, not shown here, of any color you like to customize uh, your Y cable. I didn't receive any money or goods to make this video. Responsibility is yours. Good luck! Check the radio's manual first to confirm pin 1 and pin 7 are used for the mic. Expect pin 1 to be the mic's input and pin 7 to be the mic's ground. The corresponding pins are marked on the microphone coupler. Cut the coax cable to the desired length. Try with 20 cm for example. Solder the inner conductor to pin 1. Solder the shield to pin 7. Add the shrink tubing and unless you are soldering more cables to the microphone coupler, you could add a couple of short pieces of coax cable to allow the microphone coupler to close tightly and relieve strain. Solder the inner conductor to both the round and square hole contacts on the jacks connector. Solder the shield to the sleeve on the jacks connector. Close the connectors. There are other connections possible, just in case you wish to add more accessories. Pins 3 and 6 could be used to connect a frequency memory remote control, for example. Pins 5 and 6 could be used to connect a push-to-talk foot pedal. But first confirm the pinout from the manual. This concludes this video.